at Yardy Mamas and Papas. I have a question for you. Do you believe in magic? I sure didn't, until I had my first baby and watched his eyes change from a mysterious deep blue to a rich, warm brown right before my eyes. It was like witnessing a real-life magic trick. One day I was gazing into these oceanic blue eyes and the next poof. A completely different color. Can you relate? Well, if you're wondering when your little one's eye color will settle and what sorcery is behind this transformation, you've come to the right place. Many new parents find themselves enchanted by their baby's captivating blue eyes in those early days. They marvel at the unique shade, wondering if they'll stay that stunning azure hue. But more often than not, those baby blues are just a temporary trick of nature. The real eye color is still hiding behind the curtain, waiting for its grand reveal. Now, you may be thinking, but Yardi baby, my sister's friend's cousin's baby had blue eyes that stayed blue. And yes, that can happen. Some babies, especially those with blue-eyed parents, do keep their blue eyes. But for most of us, those baby blues are just a fleeting phase. So what's the science behind this mesmerizing metamorphosis? Well, it all comes down to melanin. The natural pigment that gives color to our hair, skin, and eyes, babies are born with low levels of melanin in their eyes, which is why they often start out blue or gray. But as they grow and get exposed to light, their bodies ramp up melanin production, causing their true eye color to emerge. This grand unveiling typically happens between three to six months, but some babies can take up to a year to show their final eye color. It's a slow, gradual process that keeps us guessing. Mother Nature sure does love to tease. While we're waiting for our baby's eye color to develop, we Caribbean parents have some tricks up our sleeves to try to predict the outcome. Ever heard the saying mama's eyes, papa's smile? Some believe you can get clues from looking at the parent's eyes. If both parents have brown eyes, chances are high that the baby will too. But if there's a blue-eyed parent in the mix, all bets are off. Those recessive blue eye genes can pop up unexpectedly, like a mischievous jack-in-the-box. Genetics can be tricky like that. Just when you think you've got it figured out, surprise, you get something completely different. Another Caribbean predictor is looking at the eye color of the baby's older siblings, but even that isn't foolproof. I have one friend with three kids, two brown-eyed boys, and a blue-eyed girl. Like I said, Mother Nature loves to keep us on our toes. So what can we do while eagerly awaiting our baby's final eye color? First, enjoy those baby blues while they last. Take lots of pictures to capture that unique shade before it's gone forever. You can also try to coax out that melanin by spending time outdoors in natural light. Just be sure to protect those sensitive eyes with a cute pair of baby shades or a wide-brimmed hat. We Caribbean mamas know the sun can be intense. Another tip. Don't get too attached to a particular eye color. I know we all have our preferences, but at the end of the day, the most beautiful eyes are the ones looking back at you with love, no matter the shade. Now, what if you're really impatient and want to speed up the big reveal? I've heard some of my friends swear by certain foods to boost melanin production. One auntie insisted that feeding her baby Kalalu would turn his eyes brown. Did it work? Well, let's just say he's a strapping teenager now with eyes as blue as the Caribbean Sea. The truth is, no amount of wishing, hoping or Kalalu pushing can change your baby's genetic blueprint. Their eye color is determined long before they take their first breath. It's already written in their DNA like a secret code waiting to be cracked. So when will your baby's eyes settle into their final color? The answer is, it depends. Every baby is unique and develops at their own pace. Some might go from blue to brown quickly, like flipping a light switch. Others might take their sweet time, transitioning through shades of gray, green, and hazel before landing on their permanent hue. As much as we want to rush the process, it's important to embrace the journey. Watching your baby's eyes change is like witnessing a small miracle unfolding day by day. It's a reminder of the incredible transformation they're undergoing, not just in their eyes but in every part of their being. So here's my advice. Don't stress about the timeline. Trust that your baby's eyes will change when they're good and ready. In the meantime, soak up every stage and cherish those fleeting moments of babyhood. And who knows, maybe your baby will wind up with a totally unique eye color that keeps everyone guessing. I once met a little boy with one brown eye and one blue. Talk about a showstopper. His mama said everywhere they went, people would stop and stare in amazement. 
See, that's the magic of genetics. You never quite know what you're going to get. It's like reaching into a grab bag of traits and pulling out a surprise every time. Will your baby have your nose? Your partner's ears? Great grandpa's chin dimple? The suspense is all part of the fun. So as you wait for your baby's eye color to reveal itself, embrace the mystery. Marvel at the wonder of creation. And know that whatever shade those eyes end up, they'll be perfect because they're a part of your perfect little miracle. Now, speaking of miracles, have I told you about the old Caribbean wives' tale about making your baby smarter? Some grannies swear that if you place a book under the baby's pillow every night, they'll absorb the knowledge through osmosis. Sounds crazy, right? Well, I decided to put it to the test with my firstborn. Every night I'd tuck a little board book under his pillow, hoping he'd wake up a pint-sized genius. And you know what? By his first birthday, he was pointing at pictures and saying ball and dog. Coincidence? Or island magic? I'll let you be the judge. But you know, even if those books didn't turn my baby into a mini Einstein, they did give us some precious snuggle time. Because after I tucked the book under his pillow, we'd always cuddle up and read a bedtime story. And those moments of connection, with his wise little blue eyes gazing up at me, were the real magic. So yes, your baby's eyes will likely change color somewhere between 3 to 12 months. And yes, genetics and melanin play a starring role in this transformation. But the real wonder isn't in the science, it's in the experience. It's in the way your baby's eyes light up when they see your face. It's in the endless expressions that flit across those tiny features. The wide-eyed wonder, the crinkly nose laugh, the concentrating furrow. It's in the love you see reflected back at you, blue, brown, green, or gray. So as you embark on this eye color adventure, remember to enjoy the ride. Take pictures, keep a journal, marvel at the daily changes, and know that whatever hue your baby's eyes settle into, they'll be a perfect masterpiece, just like the rest of them. And if anyone gives you a hard time about your baby's eye color not matching yours, just smile and say, that's the beauty of genetics, you never know what you're going to get. And then dazzle them with your vast knowledge of melanin and recessive genes, that'll show them. So keep marveling at those mesmerizing baby eyes no matter what color they are. Take a mental snapshot of each stage and tuck it away in your heart. Because one day faster than you can blink, that tiny baby will be a big kid, then a teenager, then an adult. And when they're all grown up, with eye color settled and worldly wisdom in their gaze, you'll look back on these fleeting moments of babyhood with so much fondness. You'll remember the magic of watching your baby's eyes change before your very own eyes, and you'll realize that the real beauty was in the transformation itself. The becoming of your incredible child, right before your loving eyes. So Yardi Mamas and Papas, enjoy this colorful ride. Embrace the eye color mystery and all the other thrilling discoveries of babyhood, and know that you've got a friend in Yardi Baby, here to guide you through it all. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and share it with a friend who's also wondering about their baby's changing eye color. And be sure to subscribe to my channel for more Caribbean-flavored parenting tips, tricks, and tales. I'm curious too what color are your baby's eyes right now? And what color are you predicting they'll end up? Share your guesses in the comments below, and let's see who's got the gift of eye color prophecy. As always, thank you for being a part of the Yardi Baby Village. Keep loving those babies with all your heart. And remember, the magic isn't just in their eyes, it's in your bond. Until next time, walk good and keep those eyes wide open for wonder. One love.